cat's out of the bag because there was never a cat to begin with. Y'all, I'm bringing home a bunny. I cannot believe it. I went to New Jersey to meet the bunny and it went so well. Everything's good to go. And we we're just figuring out timing. And I didn't even know if it would be this week or next week, but they're bringing her home to me tomorrow night. I'm excited, but I'm also very nervous. It's a lot of responsibility for a little, a little critter. There's not many things that are branded for rabbits. Her water bowl says, good kitty. <laughs> but I needed like a ceramic. Yeah, oh, and he has a fish on the bottom. That's cute. Um, you are sitting on though a box of 10 pounds of hay, which I never thought I would ever need in my life. But here we are. My apartment smells a little like a farm. But also this channel is not gonna become a bunny channel. I am not making advice videos on how to care for a rabbit. I'm gonna focus on keeping this critter alive. So I've done as much research as I could possibly do before bringing the rabbit home and now it's just gonna be trial and error what makes her the most comfortable it smells like a farm <laughs> my task right now is to put these grids metal grids together with zip ties the baseboards there those are where my heat comes out from and they're all around these two walls of my apartment boop and boop the rabbit is going to be free roaming my apartment but i don't want her to chomp on anything apparently this rabbit is also a complete dream like she chews on cords but not wood and she's not a picky eater and she's very affectionate and very friendly not all rabbits are like that like, she's a diamond in the rough and i don't know how i got so lucky to find her also i just wanted to introduce myself if you're new here hey my name's chelsea i'm a 30 something living in new york city and i just like to make cute little fun videos of my super ordinary life here living in the city. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then I invite you to stick around. I used every last panel and it worked perfect. You see how it's blocking the heater on the bottom? That's exactly what I wanted. And that little piece goes all the way through here. All the cords have these like covers on them. So bunny can't chew. This is a bit of an eyesore. There's not really much you can do about it. It looks like Medusa's head. That's how many cords are coming out of it. Just blocking all the cords off. else have anxiety about pets like they're supposed to help your anxiety but the responsibility of keeping them alive and healthy and happy is a lot of pressure my first dog pepper got hit by a car when i was nine super traumatizing after that we got an australian shepherd that used to herd me and nip my ankles and growl at me so we had to find a new home for him and then i had two golden labs when i was in high school one that died of epilepsy and the other died of cancer and not to mention all of the petco fish i've had that are no longer with us. So you could say that I'm very terrified about keeping this bunny alive since I know that they're extremely sensitive and fragile animals. Diet is everything for them. So I'm taking time to prep a ton of greens, even though I know she's never gonna eat all this before it goes bad. I'm honestly just stressed. And like, what if she likes romaine more than cilantro? You know, I wanna have options. Just gotta set up the exercise pen and the litter box and we're pretty much good to go. Okay, I have to go to bed now. Tomorrow's the day! Ah, so excited. The adoption agency is gonna be here in one minute. I'm so nervous, you guys. I'm like overwhelmed with the fact that I'm gonna be a mom in one minute. Okay, cut to a time when I'm less anxious. I'm gonna eat your cilantro. You wanna eat your cilantro? Okay, I won't look. Looking at bunny names. Toaster. Do you like the name Toaster? Waffle. BB. 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 Nora. Nora's cute. What if I named you Nora? Nora might be really cute. What if I name you Meryl? From mouth through queso. <laughs> Pickle. Wonton. What? This website suggests the name Borscht. You don't like that either, huh? I didn't think so. There's a lot of dogs that are named Chelsea. So I don't, I don't feel so bad calling her a human name. Maggie? Do you like Maggie? Uh, Millie. Oh, Millie's cute. Millie's more of a dog name though. We like Millie and Nora. I was gonna keep her name Jerry. The adoption lady I was surprised I was gonna keep it. I just feel bad changing it because it's what she's used to, but apparently she, they don't recognize names. They just recognize tone of voice. So I feel better about changing it now. Olive. Phoebe. Phoebe. 
I like Phoebe. Phoebe's really cute. She's just chilling in her box. I'm gonna let her be. She's had a really long day. I think I'm deciding on Phoebe for a name. I think that's very cute. Like a little, hey Phoebes, Phoebes, Phoebe. No, not Phoebe from Friends. Although it could be. And then keep like Jerry, her given name as her middle name or something, Gerilyn. Her setup is a bit different now. I can show you. So for now, we've got the exercise pen on the perimeter of the mats. That's what the adoption lady suggested. But eventually the goal is gonna be that she can roam freely in my apartment. And it's a bummer that I have to be at the office tomorrow. So I'll be gone all day, but I have a camera. that I can watch her through the day, make sure she's doing okay. I hope she ends up liking me. I was sitting on the ground because that's how you're supposed to bond with your bunny. Because they're prey animals. And so anything that towers over them, they think is gonna eat them. It's their natural instinct. This is really cute. I bet y'all thought I got a cat, huh? fam i'm making dinner for myself at 9 56 p.m because i have no time for myself anymore that's a joke but it's sort of like a realistic joke you know i you know inserted some cute little clips of, of phoebes y'all she's so cute she's starting to get more comfortable with me like when i took that pen away the gate she really started to get happy you could tell but thanks to being a rabbit mom I now have so many veggies in my fridge. I'm becoming a rabbit, really. That one like month I had of my apartment looking cute was really nice, but it's worth it. It's worth it to have her. Being a rabbit mom is nice. Highly recommended. trial and error learning about each other we are on day three living together and yes i'm on day three of the same sweatshirt i keep thinking about it every time i put it on and film but then i'm just learning to prioritize my own comfort and happiness i digress we have something for phoebes hey phoebes this is gonna be cool hi precious can you see you're gonna hate me when i take you to the vet tomorrow you, my baby. I love you. I got a present for you. Yes. This is for our girl. This is a snuffle mat. This is to keep her from getting bored during the day. I'm trying to find ways to enrich her life. In Bunny World, it's literally called enrichment. So basically, as you see, I like feed her pellets uh, with her greens every day. I know. Oh, so I hide her pellets in here instead of just putting them in a bowl because bunnies are natural foragers to be able to, to dig for the, the food, you know. She's so vibing right now. Yesterday, I didn't film anything. She was in a really bad mood. It's okay. I have those days too. You gonna go poop now? I gave you too many treats already. Hi. Wanna be a YouTuber too, huh? Be careful. Oh, she binkied for the first time. I think that was a binky. She's having so much fun. Wow, look at those jumps. It's just different, right? They're not a cat, they're not a dog. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> you just jumped. She's binking, you guys. Cool. 
That is so fun that I caught that on camera. I mean, my space is now officially a zoo and I smell like hay. I'm cleaning poop every day, but I think it's exactly what I needed. Apparently when her feet are out like that, that means she's out of fight or flight mode. And so she's like, feels comfortable to just flop over. She was an absolute angel. They even stuck a thermometer up her butt and she didn't even flinch. I learned a lot from the vet though. I was sitting in the elevator holding her and I was thinking, I love this animal so much. She's just perfect. And on my way to the vet, I got news of my best friend's dog just passed last night. And it's it was sort of, it reaffirmed my love for this animal, <laughs> for this bunny. Once you give them such a good life, you know, and they pass on, it's just, you know that they're happy wherever they end up going, you know, wherever they pass on to. I just kept thinking about all the memories her and I are going to have together and how much we're going to grow together. And it's like, I need her companionship just as much as she needs mine, and it's really special. I'm just going to enjoy every moment I have with her, even though it's only like day four, day five, because one day she won't be here anymore. So I'm going to give her the best life I possibly can. Ah, thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more adventures with her and I, make sure to subscribe. I mean, it's just the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Now she's in my laundry basket, so I gotta go. Have a great week, y'all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!